I relapsed on the 631 day semen retention streak. After my relapse, I felt very strange. I didn't know how to feel because I didn't relapse because I actually wanted to relapse. I didn't want to relapse and that's why I forced myself to. I didn't want to be held captive by the amount of days I've been on NoFap or seed retention. So I let go of my ego and I relapsed on purpose. I did feel very guilty as we all do after we bust a nut. But I also felt after about 10, 15 minutes after my relapse, I felt very proud of myself. I made a video on it on YouTube. Now after I posted this video and after I relapsed on semen retention, I started doing it once a week. Once a week, maybe once every two weeks. Not out of habit, just because I could. It wasn't an addiction. I didn't use porn, I just literally just did it with my fucking hand. And because my testosterone or my sex drive was very high at this point, I could just imagine shit for like five minutes and bro, I would get horny as fuck. <laughs> like seriously. Now did I feel any different doing it once a week? No. I didn't feel any different. My energy levels were still the same. I think the main reason for that was because I wasn't doing it out of addiction. However, after doing that for about four months, so I probably did it about nearly 20 times, I felt in the last couple of weeks of doing it that it was becoming a habit. I couldn't get past a Sunday without doing it because it was I was doing it every single Sunday. So I said to myself, Okay, I'm just gonna go a week and see what happens and see how I feel. No changes. I went a week on CM retention, two weeks, nothing changed. Then my birthday hit, January the 5th, and I relapsed, relapsed. I gave myself a little birthday present at the end of the day. Ever since then, I have not busted a nut this year. Let me explain to you why I haven't busted a nut in almost 10 months. Let's go back to January the 5th. So I bust a nut on January the 5th, my birthday, and I have no intention of going on seed retention for the rest of the year. I did want to eliminate the habit of doing it once a week. It wasn't an addiction, but I didn't really want to do it once a week. I probably wanted to take it back to once a month at the bare minimum or the maximum. So I plan on doing that. Right? I have no specific date when I'll, I'm allowed to do it. Yeah, I'm just focused on my goals. My goals come first. School comes back. Yeah, I go a month on seed retention and I think about it. I think it was near the start of February. I've been on serum retention for a month without even thinking about it. I haven't even thought about busting a nut this month once. Now I'm posting about one TikTok a day at this point. I'm posting about one TikTok a day and that's really it. I'm, I'm posting one TikTok and one YouTube video a week. And I knew I could do so much better. So around February, March, I, I up my two pieces of TikTok or short content to two pieces a day, not one. But I saw the more I was working, the more hours I put in, the less I wanted to bust. Now, I remember, I got, it was about April this year. I was walking down the street, right? And I saw a, a very attractive woman. I'd seen her once or twice before down the street, but I never got the urge I got this time. Because I hadn't done it for about four months, my body has definitely changed, right? It's definitely wanting it because we want reproduction. It makes us feel good, the dopamine hit, and also because, you know, it's in our human genes to want to reproduce, to, you know, create more humans, to survive. That's why seed retention and nofap is so hard because it's built into us to do it. So I see this girl, right? And the urge hits me like crazy. Now at this point, I could humbly say that I am an expert at mastering my sexual energy. Yeah, if I tell myself I'm not gonna fucking relapse, if I tell myself I'm not gonna bust a nut, I won't do it. Yeah, I've, I've made that promise to myself and I know that I can do it. Now I'm with my mum, so I'm not gonna change the way I act. I was actually getting a haircut, so before I walk in the barber, I see this girl walk past, I'm like, damn. So I get my haircut, we go home, and I just sit there in this exact chair and I just observe like, why did that hit me so hard? And I came to the realization that at this point, porn, fapping to porn, fapping to myself, fuck, that just sounds weird. Hang on. Fapping with my hand, the only thing that really motivates me to bust an art or reproduce is to actually do it with a woman I have a connection with. And at the moment, I don't have that woman, which is okay. I'm not chasing her. Right now, I'm focusing on me, and maybe later down the years, I will go out there. Or maybe she'll come tomorrow, who knows? But that's the only reason why I really want to do it. I don't know, like, I, I question myself all the time because it's built into us. It's in our genes to reproduce. And the only reason I will get an urge, I don't get them from social media anymore because I've kind of realized that you know, social media is a highlight. There's edited photos. I get 
an urge when I see a beautiful woman down the street. It doesn't matter what her ass or her tits look like, it doesn't matter. I don't really get urges from ass and boobs anymore. Like, yeah, that will trigger something inside of me. But the only reason I'd actually have sex and, you know, let go of my semen is because I have a genuine connection with a woman. That would be it. And as I said before, I do question myself a lot. Like, is that normal? I see all these people talking about, you know, it's in our genes as men, which it is. But why don't I seek ejaculation more often? And I think that is because I am just focused. 90% of my day, just focus on my goals, goals that mean something to me, that I am successfully transmuting that sexual energy so the urges aren't as big. That was basically a reality for four or five months and now if we come to today, it's basically the same. Around that four month period, I found myself getting very strong urges, especially when I saw attractive women out in public. It was all a mind game. And that's still the case today, but it's not as strong. You might've expected to see some really big benefit, but that's really it. I know it's not very exciting. If I was addicted to ejaculating, it would be very different. If you are struggling to quit this addiction yourself, whether it's with porn or you just want to stop masturbating in general, go and check out the free training I have for you down below in the description, bro. Completely free training and I'll also send you over a free ebook to your email as well. With that said, if you're new, hit that subscribe button and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks.